Hey guys, I hope that you're all doing really well. Today I have got the third update in my Six for Summer project pan. In this project, I am working on using up six products for the summer. So I am in my third month of this project, well, going into my fourth month of this project. And I'm really, really happy with the progress that I've done so far. So I definitely want to show off some progress. And yeah, I'll, let's just hop right in. The first item I want to show you is totally completed, which makes me so happy. It is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin Leave-In Conditioner. And I'm really, really proud that I actually managed to finish this one over the project because I started up here at this line. So I basically used up half the product in the project, which makes me super happy because I had this in my collection for like three years before I decided to finally work on getting it out. Really happy that this is out and I've decided to roll one more product in even though there's only a month left in this project just so that I can see what kind of use I can get out of it. So the product that I'll be rolling in is the Tarte Lip Surgeon's Lip Cream and this is in the shade Wonder. It's like a balmy lipstick and it's that color. It's a really pretty summery color and I really want to get this used up because I actually have two of these in my collection, two of these little deluxe samples. So you can see there's not a ton of product in here. I don't think I'll be able to finish it, but I definitely want to get some use out of it and just see how far I can get with it. That'd be really cool to see how much I can use up in a month. And I think it's a pretty wearable color. Really comfortable formula. At the moment, my lips are like totally destroyed. I don't know what I did, but I have like a ton, a ton of chapped spots on my lips and like raw skin. So I need to be using like these kind of products. So I am really happy to be rolling this one in. And in addition to kind of treating my lips a little bit better, actually getting use out of another product in my collection that I need to get out. So there still are five more products that remain. The first one I want to talk with you guys about is this MAC Single Eyeshadow. This is the shade Woodwinked. This guy, I honestly thought I was going to have more progress on by this time, but I just feel like I kind of stopped using it, which sounds really bad. I, I make a note of using it maybe once or twice a week, but that's just not enough to show any noticeable progress. So this next month, I want to work really hard on getting this guy used up. I want to wear it pretty much every day to work. I'll probably be wearing that red lip and this eyeshadow, which is not a bad look by any means. I think it's actually quite a nice look, but it might get a little bit boring. But I really want to make some better progress on this because at the end of this project, I actually just want to throw this out. So let's see what I can do over the next month and hopefully it'll be a little bit more noticeable progress. But yeah, for the time being, I am happy that I've gotten more use out of it over this summer. And yeah, let's just see how the next month goes. I just want to kind of get the boring products out of the way. So the next product is the Makeup Forever Full Cover Camouflage Cream. This is a full coverage waterproof concealer. I have been using this every day. I have been using this every single day and I keep feeling like it's got to be close to empty and it's just not. I don't know what's going on with this concealer. I'm glad that I've actually gotten this much use out of it because I don't actually have any other concealers for my face that are this shade. So it's good. I'm getting my use out of it for the summertime, but I really just want to use it up. So I really hope that in the next month I can just get it used. I've actually started using it underneath my eyes for work days. Um, just to get some full coverage and make it easier to just pull out one product instead of two different face products. And I feel like I haven't made significant progress even doing things that way. So I don't know what's up with this. It's not like I don't have spots to cover. Like my face is pretty badly broken out. My under eye bags are just always horrendous. So I don't know what's going on, why this just never gives up, but Yes, I'm really, really working hard on using it and I hope that in a month I can get this out of my collection. So the next product, I'm really happy with my progress so far during this project. It is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation. This is a powder foundation 
which is what I tend to prefer for work days just because I feel like it can kind of let my skin breathe a little bit and it's really nice in the summertime because it just feels really lightweight. This one, however, doesn't run very light. This is Fair Light Honey, which I believe is the lightest shade in the lineup and it's finally just matching me now. Now that I have my summer tan, I feel like it's finally matching me perfectly. So I have gotten a fair amount of use out of it. You can actually see that when I started the project, I was all the way up here. I had probably used about a third of the product prior to this project, and I'm down here. So I'm probably in the last third of the product, and that's pretty good for like three, four months. I've only got this tiny little portion at the bottom here where it's quite narrow anyway, so I definitely think I'll be able to use this up by the end of this project. I'm really excited about that. After I finished the NYX Butter Lip Balm in my first update, I decided that I would roll a product in. I decided to roll this The Body Shop Pink Grapefruit Body Mist into my project, and I'm really happy that I decided to roll it into the project because I've gotten a lot of use out of it over the last couple of months. There, I started up here, so I probably had used maybe a quarter of the product, and I'm actually all the way down here now, which is crazy because I actually used maybe an inch and a half worth of product over the last month, and I actually think I might get pretty close to using this up by the end of the month. And the last product in this project is definitely the most exciting one, to me at least, because I have actually a fair amount of pan happening here. This is the Essence Silky Touch Blush in the shade Sweetheart. This has been in the project since the very beginning, and I feel like I've done really well with this. I'm really happy with my progress thus far. I, I knew I was going to be able to hit pan, but I actually didn't realize that I'd be able to get this much pan happening on it since May, I guess, since I started the project in May. And really, really happy so far. This is the blush I'm wearing today. It's kind of been my only blush that I've worn, so I have been really bad and neglecting my Benefit Cheekathon palette. But whatever, I've been really working my ass off on this guy. And I'm really impressed with the results so far. I'm going to keep using it for the next month and hopefully there will be even more progress to show you guys next time. So that's absolutely everything for my 6 for Summer Project Pan. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this update. And as you know, I only have one update remaining in this project, so definitely stay tuned for that. I just wanted to let you know here at the end though that I will be doing that update a little bit later in the month next month. I'll probably be doing it like closer to like the 20th of the month or something like that just because I am going on a trip and I will be gone actually on the 15th. So this project will last maybe five weeks but I think that that means that I'll actually be able to get some really really good progress out of all of these products and I hope that you guys tune in to see the update well, the finale in a month's time. And thank you so much for watching this one. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye guys.